want to get too graphic, but this actually looks like an animal's penis. <laughs> So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be trying out some new products and trying to uh, test them out, see what I think, because I know a lot about makeup and my opinion truly matters. This ended up being the look that I somehow miraculously came up with as a sober human. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is going to be like a tutorial or something that's very educational. It's just me trying a bunch of new makeup because I want to feel cute. I don't do that. I don't get dressed up. I don't take showers. I don't leave the house. Usually these are just like what not to do, but I just want to try some new stuff, see how it goes, and then maybe treat myself to a beer out in public. So this is the Perfusion Cosmetics Sculpting Glow Palette, and oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. There's like condensation from my sweaty ass hands. I don't really know why it comes with one of these. I feel like nobody actually uses these, but in the spirit of trying new things, I'm going to actually try and use this today. I guess we're gonna go with the... Oh, wow, okay. I just like barely... Actually, this was a bit of an aggressive brush, but there was so much fallout that came out, and there's like nothing on the... The brush so we're not gonna do that i'm gonna use this um what are you i don't know i think this is from elf it still has quite a bit of kickback is what i've learned that's called so normally when i contour i've been using the pure cosmetics contour palette and i really really like it it smells like chocolate and it's super super dope i feel like this has a pretty similar look just not as pigmented up front which is actually probably good because the Pure Cosmetics one is super pigmented and I always get too much on my brush and then it just looks like I dip my face in a bowl of chocolate. <gasps> Why isn't it every time I put contour on, it looks so bad, so dark. Every, every fucking time. I think I'm just gonna like, hmm. hmm. I don't know why I expected this to go like any better than any of my other makeup videos have, have gone because they're all just trash. This doesn't smell like chocolate, but I do really like it. Okay, so this is the darkest one called Medium Sculpt. So we're going to move on now to a little bit of blush. And so the blush that I do have from them is this, oh, of course, I'm fucking light. This is a five color blush and highlighter palette. They're all glittery and sparkly. Oh, that's nice. It comes with like this little, oh shit, little plastic thing. They kind of smell like paint. No, I don't. Mm, they don't smell like anything. So this is the brush that, oh my god, is there a cat hair, honestly? So this is the bu the, mm -hmm, the brush, the blush brush that I have been using since the dawn of time. Again, I think it's by e.l.f. I absolutely hate it and I don't know what else to buy and it's hard for me to just buy things to try them. Like, I'm just kind of slowly getting into that, you know, expanding my options and actually trying to get good products that will make my face look flawless. This, it's really itchy, very irritating to my skin, so I don't want to use that. But I do have these new brushes from Luxie that I have tried once. Um, none of these are for blush. But we're going to go ahead and try the tapered highlighting because it's the softest one and I think maybe it'll work. I think I want to do Fantasia because it looks the most like what I'm used to. And that's the only reasoning behind that. This also has a lot of kickback. I love being able to use that word. I sound... I actually know what I'm talking about. It's not as bad as the, the contouring thing we used, but a lot of it came off on the brush. So I'm assuming that's a good sign. Oh, I already don't like this. Mmm, no. It just kind of looks, well, I mean, I'm just not used to like a, a glittery blush. I watched so many tutorials and it's kind of like when I watched Food Network, I've watched that for, I don't know, 15 years and I still have no idea how to cook. So, I mean, I watch makeup tutorials all the time and I still don't know how to do makeup. It like goes in one ear and out the other. I'm actually going to try and retain the information that I, I, you know, am watching, but I can like turn into an entirely different person. I really like this. I've really been getting into highlighting lately. I've been using the, what is it? The Black Moon Cosmetics, the Moonlighters. I really like that this is kind of giving me that highlighting vibe, but then I feel like if I put highlighter on top of it, it's just gonna be like, too much? I don't really know, but I like this. Bit of a slightly gold undertone apart from the white. Okay, moving on because I just, I, I'm not convincing anybody. I'm sweating so much. Ew. Can you see the sweat dripping? Ew. It smells like syrup. So now we're gonna go back into the Sculpting Glow palette and I'm gonna try one of their highlighters. Um, I'm trying to think about, I don't have no idea what eyeshadow look I want to do, so I probably should be doing that first before I maybe apply this. I don't know. 
So I'm going to be using my Black Moon Cosmetics highlighter um, brush. Honestly, what is the difference between lightning and euphoria? Nothing is coming up when I'm picking this up. I'm pressing pretty hard. Oh, it's like pink, I think. Gross. So Serendipity, Dynasty, Madly, all of those are kind of what I'm used to using from Lime Crime palettes. I don't ever really use glittery eyeshadows. I've been getting kind of more into that and putting it like in my inner corner. I don't really have any eye looks prepared or any knowledge. I just usually pick one color, swirl it all around my eye. I'm gonna try and use some of the knowledge that I've picked up from the tutorials that I've been watching. I'm just gonna try this brush because I don't really have much to choose from. Good old kickback. We're gonna put a little bit up here and call it a transition shade. This is Oasis, I guess like a peachy shade of sorts. I didn't put a base on or like a concealer or anything. This is just my normal eye, so we'll see how this stuff sticks. I really like this. This is a nice brush. This is kind of what I imagine a blending brush to be. Maybe it is. <laughs> my hands are so sweaty. I think we've now turned this <laughs> transition shade into a full-blown damn eye look so whoops and since I'm gonna be using like the same brush I don't really know what to do as far as cleaning this off I usually just let it be messy and ugly and just call it grunge honestly it is so hot and I can't stop sweating I am disgusting I almost just dropped my phone on this palette and it would have smashed because it's a damn plastic case I guess maybe I do care about packaging. I don't know. I feel like this one is calling me. Again, it's kind of close to what I normally would use. Maybe we should try something a little bit more daring. <laughs> so this one's called daring and it's not. <laughs> okay. Anyways, sometimes you just, you think you're really funny, but you're really just dumb. And that's fine. I'll own up to it. For a person that doesn't know what they're doing, this seems to like handle really well. I don't feel like anything is falling off. What the hell's happening in my hair? Honestly, why is it ever not a mess? Maybe we'll do like a dark thing in the corner. I want to try a lot of colors or as many as I can to see if they all kind of work the same. I think I want to go use this yellow. Most of the yellows I have are like mustardy ones. This actually seems like a pretty bright sun yellow and the fact that I'm holding this palette with one hand is so risky. But where to put it? Um, let's put it here in the thing. That was a dumb idea. I need a smaller brush for this. Okay, um, let's try this again. So I have a little smaller brush. No idea where this is from or what it is. Put it in the inner corner. So far, all these colors have transferred pretty true to color. I think they're a lot more muted. They're really pigmented, but the color, um, these are all like really kind of pale colors. This looks pretty cool. Let's go and put a little bit of something darker in the corner, like madly, because I'm feeling very mad that I'm gonna fuck this up. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but now it kind of feels like all of the colors kind of look the same. This one doesn't seem to be blending out as nicely probably because it's darker and less forgiving okay quickly change what i'm doing really aggressively just kind of put this over everything we've just done because i don't really know what else to do at this point because i have it everywhere oh what have i done let's maybe take this madly color on the end of the brush smudge it this was going really well until i got into those dark colors yeah this got a little too wild too wild too quick it's fine this isn't a tutorial we're just uh trying things and learning what not to do honestly i'm using the exact same colors that i didn't want to use because i only ever use oranges yellows and reds let's pull out this purple because we don't ever use purple and why would you use purple right now beats me but we're gonna do it anyway so we're gonna go into devoted put it under here it's hard to tell because we had like a dark ass color under there i don't know why i'm putting on eyeshadow and looking away from everything because that's the dumbest thing you could ever do you know this isn't actually that bad i feel like maybe i'm a little too hard on myself i think we're gonna put that away because eyeshadow just seems like a really dangerous thing to be dealing with right now it's like a three lipstick situation in one we have a lip liner matte lip cream and a sparkling lip top i know i give lip liners a lot of shit so i'm gonna be really uh confused and upset if i like using a lip liner my hand is way too shaky for this oh shit <laughs> no do you guys ever like have this feeling that your lips look normal and even when you have nothing on them and then when you try to put lipstick on somehow they just seem to take on a completely different shape one side of your lip 
looks one way and the other side looks another way. I don't know if I'm supposed to like fill it in all the way, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the, oh, was it called something? This is called the secret nude. Oh, hello. Um, this is a much different color than the lip liner. So, <sighs> okay. Oh, huh. So this fits in so nicely with my lip. Oh my gosh, probably one of the easiest lip lip products I've ever put on my face. When you put it on and rub it in, I guess it, it kind of seems to dry a little bit. More like the, the lip liners, so they all like blend in together. I really like this. And I wish my hair would just settle the fuck down. This is a very, very different look for me. Um, Wow, but I actually really, really like it so far. I'd really like to try the Kush mascara. I I think it's by two. Actually, I don't know who makes it. I'm not even gonna try and guess. But I've been seeing what people talk about it, and I want to try it. So if you've tried that, let me know if you like it and if it compares to the Better Than Sex mascara because I really like this one. I'm always so scared to put on mascara after I've done eyeshadow because I always get it on my lid because I am a moron. Oh my god, are you serious? I mm. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. It ruined everything I just worked so hard for. I'm gonna have to just cry and get over it. Yes, I'll just try and wipe it off. Mm. Now, how do you guys get this stuff? Just rub it off with some another color? That's like kind of, that kind of works. I'm almost scared to put on false eyelashes because I, I do fear that I will ruin all of this. So I think maybe I will save that for another video after I've practice. So the last thing we're going to do before we finish out this first impression thing is I'm going to go against my better judgment and put a little- what the hell? What is that? It looks like- I don't want to get too graphic, but this actually looks like an animal's penis. <laughs> it's just- oh my gosh, that's very- <laughs> very glittery. Um, it won't go back in the hole. I'm going to be able to dab it on the center. This is a lot of glitter for me. This is, this is, this is strange. I have much to do today, so I cannot sit here and stare at myself and think, wow, where is all the black? I really like this though. I'm a big fan of all the products that I use. Honestly, like for someone that doesn't really know much about makeup, I'm a big fan of Perfusion Cosmetics. I'm, that's, I think all the, yeah, that's all the new stuff I ended up using. I wanna see some more looks. Please say no. We'll maybe do them and test out more colors from this palette. Palettes, I guess. Uh, I'll keep trying this stuff and let you guys know on Snapchat if anything changes, like my opinion. But overall, I think this stuff is really good and I will continue using it. So make sure you guys give this video a like and a thumbs up. It's the same thing all this time. I still can't seem to get that part right. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than, uh, you know, the usual. Let's talk, let's be homies, and let's get drunk.